the student chapter is having a meeting tomorrow at 4 p.m. in either room 101 or 100. We'd like to see as many people as possible because we're going to be talking about the um, ACSA uh, conference, regional conference that's going to be here. Thank you. It's going to be a great year for Thank you, Mike. If Ron lights up with it, can I just our guest tonight is Mr. William Lamb, president of William Lamb Associates, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Mr. Lamb and his firm specialize in lighting design and its integration with architecture. Mr. Lamb's experience is well over 20 years of professional practice and counts well over several billion dollars in construction that he has been involved in, at least in the integration of systems and lighting. Yeah, on projects, numbers uh, among some of his clients, uh, Hyatt, uh, Weston, and Intercontinental uh, uh, Hotel Corporations, uh, has projects in the uh, United States, Canada, Saudi Arabia, really throughout the world. Some of his better known projects, many of you are probably very familiar with, uh, British Columbia Government Center, uh, the Metro Subway Terminals in Washington, D.C., uh, TBA project in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and the GSIS building in Manila in the Philippines. Uh, Mr. Lamb holds uh, joint appointments at uh, MIT and Harvard Graduate School of Design and is the author of uh, a book titled Perception and Lighting as Form Givers in Architecture. Classic in terms of lighting design, and very well done in terms of uh, case studies and analysis. Uh, he also has in final preparation another book that is specifically related to his presentation tonight, entitled uh, Sunlighting as Form Giver for Architecture, uh, to be ready about by the end of the year. Uh, I first became uh, familiar with uh, Mr. Lamb's ideas in the, in the late 70s, and they're becoming more and more uh, critical as time goes on, without much further ado, I welcome Mr. Bill Lamb. Uh, 
just like an open hand playoff time. Mm -hmm. Or we wore it. And anybody really want to walk through this room uh, and focus on the lights or on the more anything to go back and the color. And that's what happens when we stop the calculation. So my assumption is uh, uh, thinking that quantity is what's desired rather than perception mm -hmm. having found that that's what's desired. It's not a question of what you can now look at. Mm -hmm. And this is also for the orchestra. It's recognizing this is a lot of things. Sunlight, you can't get the image. Can't show that one. 
It's her research where you, where you have a meaningless spot of light shining. In mean, some cases, lines are really ineffective. But if you write it out, it may require the use of something that has spotlight shining on it. I mean, even you know, videotape, in some way, it's latitude is very limited. Nobody ever complains about the sunlight on the lines. The spots are quite free. But the technicians do the research where they separate the sensation from the perception. Now, I can't really pretend they're all that much. They end up with all kinds of dumb answers. So, maybe it's happening. Transfer it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so um, like you is this welcome like the expensive one from the um Moderan or or I didn't know. Um anyway, he lost the demo model. Um the place you never isn't possible to have maybe that's what it wants to do. Mm-hmm. Uh on the other hand, he likes to connect it somehow. But you you never see it there, you know. What color the room? It's only promise on it. Now I'll talk about indirect light you know, because um, the end problem you have to do is code balance. Not have all light is really in the color spectrum or color temperature. All light is essential because all light coming from the ground doesn't get back to the depth until it's first bounced all the time. Not 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 all the time. And most of us look around us and we see what we look at. How many do you recognize? Brighter than the light of the sun is more the ground than the sky. The whole British practice of daylight is based in the sky as a light source. Anytime you put something up there, it's very yeah. unlike. If you really use the dark source of it, yeah, and most of the world, you don't have to be bad. The building is designed around the sun. I want to think about the hotel. I found my wall open up in the way. The churches in the Middle East or in the Mediterranean don't have the windows up high when you put it in the office about the complete light. Windows alone, so that the sunlight can reflect off the windows on the ground, onto the ball, or onto the hill. So, anyway, okay. remember that the design of sunlight, the principal source of light is not the sky, but the ground. That would extend to the number two stars, would it? But you know what um, uh, we do when you oh, achieve it? You know, another, another principal that we want to have. You know, uh, no, the, uh, the, uh, uh, Buildings that are free from visual elements, so that most of the buildings you see are filled with more. Unnecessarily, aren't they just stop this down as well? You could have had indirect light that would remember this band in space without seeing all the people who are still more dark about us. I've done all the harbor, and every time I try to look out the window, I think I've got a dirty glass on the surface. I can't comprehend all that amount of information. So, Anyway, to know theoretically what we'd like to do and achieve them within within each range of budget time. Now, the very basic principle is that when we're using if the only source of light is a window, then it doesn't make a difference what color the room is. In fact, uh, low, uh, even uh, with, with overcast conditions, uh, where the window is the main light source, you still have to contribute to not have all the light soaked up by the view surface. So sunlighting is essential because all the light comes to the ground, doesn't get back to the desk until it's first bounced all the time. Bounced all the time on the wall. In fact, if you notice, uh, on a sunny day, the room surfaces are relatively uh, uh, brighter than the sky compared to the overcast. The overcast the sky down um, uh, uh, recognize it. Now, if you use the dark surface like the SSP and you're going to have to make that light adjustment. It's an inefficient light. I already paid the energy in the room. I now don't want to sort it out in the wood. I feel home in here. It's okay to be inefficient in the church. Man does not need the light in the God doesn't need the light, is that what he said? No, we don't need the light. Oh, I was going to say. Another, another principle, I think that we go back to this special question, is that we all make the 
If you want to do that, I don't want this from the sun. I don't want to push this off to this camp. One basic principle of truth is to have like the second circuit. You want to be efficient. We have good longitudes and good distance. I'll take a question. The light, I find this all the time. The light codes are going to be part of six and three. The light shining right along the surface is going to have a grazing light instead of three hundred balls. It's not going to be any character. So. The reason that the church is lit so well is because the scenic sees the ground in the daytime, and the artificial light source is officially located fairly pretty, just like the ceiling. Uh, the ratio of light to me is something that I found out again. Um, I keep trying to like, check out my song, but I don't know any of these things I'm saying make sense, and how come I should have done it before. I should have taken that to the thing. I look around and I call it the architecture of the house. The windows are low, the windows are low, and the open mats are just like the green ones. This is that sunlight and it bounces around. In fact, you find that the decoration is on the surface of the ceiling rather than being able to be the same glass window that you had in the house. I think you can do that. Uh, 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 Tell us how much 
two weeks to fill them complete. You want to see a, a ceiling about eight feet and, and usually about three or four or five feet of space that's got nothing in it. Well, a couple of couple of times with finalizing because the architect just have kind of popped up and said, what are you working on? The problem, I say, okay, this is all space away. You threw it back and you come and want to leave. But since we, for many years, we tried to realize it was a new lighting. We created a new lighting. This is what the tree shot is for. For those who have not been around, the daylight's been the first one had. The other way, the daylight was hot, but I mean, the tree shot is for the first one had. Yeah, 
you know, you face east and west, the sun rises and sets, and on, uh, on the horizon, nothing you can get into the overhead, the shade of the mountains, and the sun, and the latitude, and like the cloud, and the overheated in the summertime, and the shade of the trees up there. Now, if there's nothing new, but the Chinese did it, and Frank Lloyd Wright did it, and in fact, he has very angle angles the south side. It's just exactly right on the south side. It allows you to separate. It takes a lot less shading here in the equator. Here in Singapore, the window doesn't need very much shading along the south side. It won't be totally shaded. Break the window in Washington. You need a little bit more. But but even then, uh, the other thing the designers have almost solved the problem. They might take advantage of because it's some Obviously, on the east and west side is not going to have a shade of If they had simply put some lines outside the east and west side, or the north and south side, they could have well used the light. Instead of having all the lights on right now, we'll find the light outside, which would be coming to the right there, we'll have the other lines in the face of the east and west. So that's Now, uh, if you have an overhang, and again, if you an art architectural climate, it has to be quite large if you call the sun out. But you have a use for that space, like the veranda, that's fine. But uh, if the room is quite high, uh, then one way to reduce the dimension requirements is to have a double overhang, a solar shade without them, or two steps. So you can do that in a modern building, and you have something which I call a light shell, which means that you have the light shell, and you can use the bottom overhang to have other light. Uh, the other thing that this, this light shell does is gives me an assured reflectance. If every building is sitting out on the beach, then I can bounce the light off the ground and fill it. So it's much more likely that my building is in the sun, but the foreground is in the shadow of the next building from the tree. In which case, I don't have to start with the light anymore. So I've got to create that reflector on the building itself. And, and, uh, I want to get that light shell as low as I can without getting in the way. So that it's not going to be seen. I don't have to laugh at it. And one, I will place the glass, uh, depending on, on the climate, that same uh, building is on the same latitude. Uh, uh, so uh, 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 I only go up to the North Carolina. I don't set the glass back in here. It's still there. The only one that's in here is about to come out of the same latitude. I'm now the glass has the outside surface. So I have the same shading as the stars covered all of them. Uh, with light, but I have a different, different equation in terms of how much energy comes from the building versus heat. Another thing that, that dividing the window like that point does is allows me to, uh, to separate uh, the upper curtain. I need curtain for privacy. The window went over by a blue curtain. I'll get from the center because it's my whole room. I break the window at that point so that I can treat privacy and the light question separately. Uh, uh, the other thing that I'm concerned about is a view. If I control the sunlight on mission lines, I'm always looking through the moon. I have my shading device large enough. It rains a view rather than breaks another one. Switzerland. Uh, and I'm stuck with the construction zone. Construction is good. Now, uh, this is one of the things that's hard to use for the focus of last project. Another thing um, is that, unfortunately, this building faces east and west, and so that. The uh, uh, shading device is not totally effective. We have a little bit of the light to walk on the side. But in fact, you can't realize it. If you try to do it east west, you still have to have a curtain. Whereas on the south, north, it's longer. The light shell is 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 longer. The light now, um, I start looking around for a photograph of this with the shade on it. Because I find a lot of them, but in fact, most of them don't work. A lot of them are here to go in the next part of the shade. So I can see that some women are shaded, some are. This is kind of a sculpture exercise. It's not very dark. And in fact, since they weren't trying to get the light anyway, the glass is all dark and they don't get much light. They have to break the window, and when they went to hardware, they got a piece of glass. They only have clear glass there. They have one rule that just the daylight is being used by them. What about the green one? Uh, but even then, the fact that the lines only go up to the transom, otherwise you have to buy, by mistake, they, they preserve some value. Here, in, 
in this library. It's now afternoon, so I grew up in the morning. We haven't explored them yet. Now, he's been up all the way. Here's Billy Boston University. Again, done by a Spanish architect. You think I know better about how to do it. But no, it doesn't do it. Those, those uh, first the upper bottom window is a chain of dog, and the lower part is louvered. So instead of reflecting light in the room, it lets more light under the window, which already has to the child, end up having a blind crowd of time. So we need to close the upper window when we have the sunshine, because that's, that's facing south. And now the sunshine, you need light to have the light, you have the blinds down. And this is very thoughtful. My wife's hired downtown. It's on Switzerland, but that's a yeah, our study on the construction form, the construction side, doesn't have much shady lines, it's a word. But uh, another thing, the point is that uh, in the classroom, this is a school of us, the most classroom, if you have a louver, it seems like that to allow the light to come through the louvers efficiently, the light in the room artificially, then all the daylight is going to go right on the same louvers into the ceiling. And try to light the ceiling above the louvers and have an open louver. Water using it, like that, that solid ceiling, like the light in the room, which can also reflect our vision. I had to get to, but I think we'll see, though, uh, there's one family uh, that's going in Berlin, the Lipset Handel School, just because the outside room is black, it's quite delightful, it's black, it's not reflecting black, it's not clear, because the intent is simply shading rather than lighting. So, that, so the, the principle I think I'm getting to is that there are a lot of buildings where the architect thought about shading, but while they're shading, they didn't use the light. This is Manila. Yeah, the sunshine all the time is on very dark, short hand louvers. And this day, all the lights are on the building. There's plenty of sunlight. That's very weak between the glass and dark colored louvers. You don't get noise in the building. Uh, in Singapore, you don't see them very well. In Berlin, it's kind of wrapped up shading. It was good. It has a form of the dark substance. What it amounts to is you really want to look in the future. Uh, control the daylight. We have to make it really work so that we don't also, otherwise, you have no black and have a shade of light. It's quite work. You have the curtain behind that. Now, this one works. This is a lot of the building. This is enough shading for the building. It's quite work. 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 It's uh, and, but it's quite high. Uh, the, 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 now, a couple of this other question. Uh, what we have to avoid is the solid energy problem, end up having yeah. terrible looking architecture. It's quite sound, I find most of the daylight doesn't come around the world very ugly. Now, this still sounds like a complicated little design. It's not really a possible model. It gets the amount of metal and how to do it. And this is very possible. I like the kind of technology on it because that's a good in Singapore, we have already had our side, and Eastern are pretty much blank. Now, it's packaged on the big floor here, so I think we have this one of the portions of the floor. It's all the details of the floor. These two actually have got a very spacious window, and better if the light shot was farther than the ceiling. Now, again, here's a tap of the electric company. One thing is, it's much easier with the construction of the construction the ceiling is too low to have the people in the space that can watch out and see the problem. So it has, kind of has a gesture. But I think we can see, though, that these forms can be very attractive. If the head of the house can't have the capacity, it doesn't quite work for what it's doing. It's not showing you could have a more chance to see that problem. We saw this is something we can do design for a general tech. There's a Hong Kong school. We had a few years ago, we saw the West, the West, the South, 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 and we find that, that an awful lot of buildings around Hong Kong are in the same shape of the wall, where the Sanshu light shot more, more than one time. Except very recently, you can see some mirror glass buildings coming from the west. Uh, in Singapore, you don't see mirror glass buildings because they have laws inside the town. They won't allow you to transfer the energy problem to make it. My stitch of man has been kind of on the uh, coast, but I'm going to see some. Some mirror drawings of that, so maybe, maybe we can go back to history and take back what he's like. Uh, all of the uh, 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 some work by a vast South American architect, so he was small style, and a lot of scale. I mean, I noticed he's moving the scale direction as I felt that he didn't go. 
He's very open. The movers are quite small scale. He's seeing a lot of the base problems. He's getting more and more of that change with that. The more movers come off is more the challenge to build it in larger scale. You can see it in the upper building, the latest building, like here, I'm saying, and Singapore. The fact that he didn't carry the very strong power down, I think, in Zealand, is still too low. Maybe he's still in space and kind of nowhere. He didn't even kind of stop. It's like in the middle of that. That's what he should do. Now, there's Philip Johnson in Caracas. Now, how dumb is it? Where is this Hong Kong company with mass technology in the country to show them how to do it? That's what we're going to do. When the black and black box is inside, that strong power is not on the It's surrounded by shaded intelligent buildings. Now, TAC is all the same. Among the architects, I know the architects of Labrador probably can't stop the defense before our system is involved. Probably all the time. We're still living together. Now, one thing is it's much easier to be a chamber as we're looking at rockets in this thing than we're staying out of the alley where you don't have a thermal rigid problem. In tropics, you can have a structure, part of the just projects as you want to have a shell. But this part, if you can have a structure, you have to have an insulator. So I'm showing you the part of the town. We saw some of the roofs and stuff that we designed out of the town design center. We really put up. We had a three-year payback period where he could get some of the development on the web, not spend any additional million dollars. No, it was not a money for him to hear. But this this is a a, a precast wall where the roof and the roof and the wall panel and the wall board and the wall panel is supposed to be interior. Light shot too. They might have to show it on the end or I can control it some more. So in the last time, we have a full size map to stack or expand on the law in the first of the trail. It's more how do you get it drawn to the point of light? Then I go back to history and I'm like, who's right? What is right? We always had to show what we call a front patch or back or a big window because he's a small guy. We like to scale down anything. So it's a scale down. But get more light as we hung on hospital. If you get inside, all the light, we have a lot of important vision problems. You might be in the window all over the shading of my soul. That most people don't saw the window. Get rid of it. And where it goes, naturally, more shading to come over. Here's Isle of Man and Singapore. The fact that he didn't carry the very strong power down, and all the ultra amendments and temptations to run the curtain over it, he's going to. We didn't even have curtains that were ready because that's how they showed the pain that the virus is going to have curtains. We don't have the right to run around the division of the division. Or where is this Hong Kong school? And fire is a heavy memory inside. It's a natural break to even if the windows are in essence, you don't have any windows. That strong horizontal kind of carries it back. Here's an attempt. This is at Alto Alto University. We knew the very reason for it. Additional light for heating. 
or if you get over to the side that it dumps them on the one fun by mock it out of it. And where it's not actually the shape of something like a lot of to get more like the way it's performed on that third grade in ballet. Uh, I'm also using these techniques as a scheme of the palm or the easy edge where it takes the dress on the view, contains it by reflection, so that you don't have to draw the run around and not show it reflected sunlight, one to one, the and finds that in the end, this one light from the shady side, cool in the forehead, reaching out to catch that. Then one touch, I want shady side to get much lighter than the middle, and then the sunny side, we just put it again out of the left out, and we wind it up one. The users of the evening skyline want now, the fall of this sometimes will still be not so much from the majors, but I'm sure that even then sometimes in this case, you see pointing this side on the south and that shady side on the south side. So we have a hard enough side line. What we do is, is, is get half as much, well, you get about a third as much light in the winter as the summer. The high tech is exactly the opposite. Being light and mirror, but don't do anything as energetic as we want. Complicated as this Berlin National Library. Now, on uh, application, they like to bring more to the attic and they bounce around the attic. Very little comes out through this handy eyeball. So little, you can see most of my coming from the window. And why all that nonsense? Because the light is very young. And you want these labs to which you're quite stunned to be that's very cold. Yeah, it comes very low, bring it in, it comes through the window, it comes right after them. You really have to go. And uh, this, by the way, is a school I bought it uh, many years ago. And it's a very big modern light on the solar power. You bring the sunshine with the school, bounce it into the light, and it's there, and then it reaches the light. I've been finding that every time I take my leaves, I did that, I see all the green, the south and all the green, 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 all the Keep a very narrow range of all that kind of option. And you can never use that. When you need one, it's always possible. And you need one that you get feel for. It doesn't make much sense to use this. You've lost one of the most important items. You're facing the wrong. And then the size of it is much like it. It's one side like box. The other view is a pure star box. And it's got a lot of construction for very little light and a lot of heat box. This is one that that served in the Mediterranean and the Liber. Um, well, what we can do when we think about lighting the sun is to think positively about it, not rejecting it by controlling it. And for instance, the one from on the sun cap. Uh, the, the, the light's coming from the shady side, and we want uh, from, this, uh, from one side, we want the shady side to get as much light as, as, as the sunny side. We just put a reflector up there, and bounce it through the window, and we can even up the light, which I'm going to show you in detail if we want. Now the fall of this, this is a building in Manila, where we want to control the, the direct sun, and, and yet uh, in doing so, we make it so that the shady side, the sunny side, still is getting getting light rather than one instead of the other. These sun catches that hole. And then we can go high tech and, and, and being light like mirrors, and, and, and uh, or reject it if we want, which is which is very TGA. And, uh, now, an application that makes even more sense than, than, than these not TDA, which I'm going to show in case study, is application of this in very northern climate. Picture yourself in, in Finland, for instance, and, or, or in, in, better yet, in, in, in some parts of Alaska where it's really quite sunny, even though it's very cold. The sun's very low. If you come through the winter, you come right after it, and you really have to then, then bounce it somewhere. But it makes a lot of sense then to, to, in a very northern latitude to bring the sun in bounce it into the space where you can then uh, uh, redirect it again in the workspace. And for instance, I did that, see, if I didn't have the re reflector, all, all, all of a sudden I ends at the top of the atrium. This way I can get it down into the office. At noontime, I can redirect it instead of going into the office and aim it straight down the whole floor of the atrium to stay in the sunlight. Uh, and then I can have a different angle for other times of the year. Uh, now, and that's, it's asthmatic that when you design with sunlight, uh, you really need to, to get a feel for it. Uh, you can't do it small and uh, as easily as looking at the film. Here's the person yeah, here, so and that's what my tea dealer. Yeah. We start with a black ground, which is where we really get to put in a, a white. Other constraints.
Big Tank, for instance. We have beautiful huge Manila Bay right out there. And so the idea of having a building sealed into the atrium uh, um, sort of had some negatives and began to try to punch holes for the view. Pretty soon it has to be hold it, then let's give up the atrium. We've got more holes in that atrium. Let's be on our courtyards. Now you have a courtyard, which means you now have a lot of east and west facing uh, windows in those notches. And that's when I came up with the idea of, of these, these, these trellises that would catch the light and baffle those windows so that whenever the light was was above 45 degrees and it's intercepted by the light shell and we direct the room was below 45 degrees and intercepted by the louvers or the trellises were made in the diffuse light. And our first estimate of, of the light penetration, how many lights beyond it, was this. And, and every facade is designed slightly differently to, to be exactly like for, for seeing the no sun that gets in the building and still get the maximum light. And here you see the diagram. And, and we predicted then that, that we would have a very low energy use compared to the uh, uh, DOE criteria for Miami, which would be equivalent to temperature. And here you see a model and, and the integration of the building. Um, we could get a very totally thin sandwich because of the fact that the, the building faced two directions. But, but at least we do have a, a, a ch um, haunch beams so that the, the, uh, the ceiling is is at the level lower part of the structure. And the structure is higher than the level of the heat Then you see some testing. Uh, testing. But we showed that with any time the sun is shining, most of the building will be pretty well out there. That, you know, 60 feet from the windows, we still got a lot of light. And then we, we integrate the artificial lighting and those, those, those light troughs are connected to the columns, which also became an organizing system for the partition. You know, it should be a very pleasant tropical building. High ceilings should be like anyway because it's thick, really, it's cool. But we build a full scale mock up to check it out, make sure that it's right. You know, I've never seen it like this, so I'm not sure it works. And so, uh, anyway, we did resolve some construction details like getting the paint and ceiling and matte finish instead of glossy. And that was a project that we had anyway. Uh, we had the handles positioned where about in the corners. Well, we didn't have the yeah, colors, yeah, so we had these yeah. other two additional uh, fins, yeah. uh, negative, which still isn't enough. Yeah. We're trying to punch holes, we still have to have some additional sun control. Yeah. Uh, but one of the things we, we tested yeah. in Manila uh, was the, the interior light shell. Uh, we didn't need that for sun control, but we don't have the sun control anyway. Yeah. That just for additional light redirection, to flatten the gradient, reduce the light at, at near the window. I thought also it was very important given the low scale because we, you sit next to a, to a window trough and high, you feel kind of small. We're not in the airport, you know, you're in the office. And so by having a light shelf, we, we brought the scale down. But in order to, to not make an investment in all of the construction without being adjusted by having a flight, I suggest we build a mock up so we can remove it. We can all have a side of We went to lunch and they took off the light shelf. And came back and immediately everyone agreed that yes, we have to have it. It's very enjoyable to be done. So it's a purely qualitative thing. You don't have to have it. You know, there's no technical reason for having it, except for the qualitative reason, the scale, and, and, and evening up the light. Uh, we found that, yeah, it's very totally mocked up that. And the, and the model is really correlated with the study and the project. Uh, uh, the furthest point from the window, we're still getting 40 foot down. How much speed for the study uh, and the uh, 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 now, I, I, I had gotten right off the airplane and not the mock up so I got there and made sure it worked. And, and then, having satisfied myself, well, we showed that. <laughs> then I had to get back to the fundamental question, which should come up on the first the project. And I said, you know, I don't think people are going to feel like they're going to like it. I don't think it's very dark. And they need something that will be a filter in the eye, something that will be different. I don't think so. My eyes aren't going to be different. So, pale and everybody else. Uh, but I still had this problem. Why is it custom there to have all these dark buildings? So we got through our test and we came up with a mock up projection. I went to our associate architect's office and, uh, and the roll of drawings in the windows are all. He's got as much light as we have 40 feet in the window in our other buildings. Uh, he's got some trees and other bat outside. He's still that much light. Even with his artificial light, he doesn't have as much light as we have. We had the panel, maybe 30 years in the corner. 
then I go downtown to our clients' existing facilities, near classical buildings in the Pavilion Villa, and all the curtains are drawn. All the public spaces the curtains are open, so we kind of scratch our head and wonder what's going on. One thing, they, there's very little light left coming even with our official lights. They have probably about five or seven special lights you have on the building. Yeah, we can use that for a couple of lights. We can pass that under the window. So we ask if you can turn it closed because you don't want to like knock out the window or get too bright on You sit there and you have a little bit of 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 a little you have some cutout like that in your flat plane, and you, you get a straight through the shot. It's actually, to me, more glaring with the technical the shutters in place and the open where it's really strong. But again, it's indigenous architects. The typical screen in the Middle East is made to round it with the turn and balance. The light grays around you don't have so much contrast. You don't have a screen. Uh, uh, but I knew that um, uh, after I left the Philippines, I stopped in July and I went to see a building that was very well shaded. Um, uh, not very well. I would have been like, I got to the airplane and the city counted very well. But I noticed that, that uh, they, they had some sense that I had to get back to my page of shutters and that the people who were closed like parts of their life. One department, every single shade on the office side was closed. So I had a Saturday morning, so I was kind of impressed by, by the management of the shade. I was a customer in apartment and the construction was doing. The fact is, you get there on Monday morning, it's going to be hard to find your own. But I said that, that oh, people have been much more conscientious about uh, the handling of the curtains of the shades since the, the federal mandate to, to increase thermostat settings in public buildings. The thermostat set at 70 degrees, nobody worries about it getting overheated, but when um, you put it at 79 degrees, uh, that any little bit of uh, heat bothers the whole bill. Anyway, getting back to Manila, uh, I knew from being in the mock that I was there uh, about quarter to five, the sun was kind of peaking peach like this. Like, as soon as that sun came through, you feel that heat. I said that, you know, one minute of sunshine, almost people are going to get happy. Uh, we don't put automatic shade in the controller. Uh, first, you know, the curtain will hold it. It's going to become a status of light the curtain. So, so I was recommending that we, we have electrically operated blinds. In a few places, there was probably 5% of the building where you need them. But they, they, they are part of the energy matter system, not everybody's choice. Well, in fact, how foot dragging goes on. Uh, I made some addition models that would document how many minutes of sunshine they would leak by on that side. And three months later, I go to Manila again and cut out of that list. And once I step in the room, the office and I can actually wear our shade. I don't know. Next time someone goes over, just tear it under your arm, don't wait for them to buy them. What they're doing is looking around for some local manufacturer made them. But in Manila, that much sun bothers you. Very fact, the manager saying some people want to go back to their old office to work kind of then. So anyway, they eventually got them and they had that comfortable. Okay, so the buildings are uh, getting close to completion. Uh, this is a building in Salt Lake City. It's a prototype building for Johnson Chemical. I'm working with Don Watson from Yale. Uh, this is the warehouse and then the little office uh, area. Typical kind of uh, suburban national building. There's no heating at all in, in the warehouse. All the heating and cooling in the warehouse comes from, from, the, from the office, uh, which uses very well heat too. Because what we have is a, a south facing light shelf, and sun capture on the offside of the 
see the, the, the agent is being fed by these ducts that go into the, the, the service base, which then connect into uh, the two band below to connect into the light shell to the air diffuser in, in that light shell. And um, you end up getting some byproducts you no one even thought about. You just need to carry it. Found that, that not only we save on energy and we save cost by what we do, but it's also more comfortable because that, that, that uninsulated plastic box is a light shell it also becomes a nice long surface area to counteract the cold glass and the line of the next nature where it probably could cover the carrier. Um, now, um, this is a project for Western House. Uh, and you have all these ideas, you give lectures and try to educate your clients and see them and come back and that's all you do. I got presented on day um, with a building that faces east and west and it's truly going on. I thought to go on holiday. I didn't know what to do with this joint state mail. I said, call it and buy stuff. I was like, I'm just doing the corner where I have to call it. I think I don't have to deal with it back home. Meanwhile, I hurried it going. I had a much wider space and I just got committed to it. It was very fun. I was gone. I got back. I said, well, you know, you've got some difficult problems. We we'll work on it, but I don't think it's ever going to be very. If you're going to try to call this a very energy efficient building, it's not going to be because I don't know how we handle the energy west exposure. We'll, we'll do the best we can. Actually, it turned out not to be as bad as I thought. I mean, we didn't think about it. One thing I didn't realize was that with the radial beams and such a deep overhead, that uh, the radial beams would give some side screen, and then we found that uh, we could get. Total shading for most of the building, most of the time. We had a couple of corners, a sort of a southwest facing corner, in uh, which in the middle of the afternoon, uh, and part of the year, we some creation shading. Like the the southeast facing, we got the, the sun coming through the point, but it got more so that would bother anybody. So, anyway, with some additional shading, we can make it work. We went to some testing, and the sun is very um, uh, now here I, 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 I put this light capture back as without realizing what I was doing. I had to put something that blocked the sun. Service that I painted the light, so it, I didn't realize at that time why we got such even light on both sides of the building. The sun was coming back, so I didn't realize that we were creating long before I, 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 I realized it consciously what I was doing. The same kind of benefit of blocking the sun and, and bouncing it in. And here's my predicted five o'clock problem, which involves the case. And uh, so it's, it's, but anyway, I want to show you, see how much brighter the bat is in the sky. So I get much more light uh, reflection than you would sky. And you have all these ideas. Now they uh, made some compromises, which I was very unhappy about. They were supposed to be uplighting my beam out of the ceiling, uh, but since it's Western House, uh, after I was off the job, and we were off the budget, they played around with the ceiling, changed my, my artificial light of indirect to light along the beam. It's very busy with all the shadows, and, uh, and, and you have a dark ceiling with a bright beam, which is which is very very uh, much. Uh, inferior to what they should have been prepared for by contrast to carrier building, where this is the way uh, Western House should have been, where you got light and bottom beam up to the ceiling, you go down at the edge, and this makes it a blue light. Now, they, they actually made some other kind of lights. It's the glass, it's, it's not it's pretty, it's totally clear. Uh, I wasn't at the meeting when they decided that, but it's a shame, but it's still very well lit. You can just double the pages, even with, with the dark glass. Uh, you could have a lot of lights on, most of the time. Now, for a high-tech solution, uh, TBA called me and they said that we want to do a state-of-the-art building. What the best we can do is actually the uh, Southwest is going to help assemble the team to, to do this project. Uh, we met at a series of uh, week-long meetings every three weeks. We'll see the design, but then instead of our getting the job, to finish the job, the drawings was passed on to local architects to detail, TBA to invention manage. So the design was great. Yeah, right. I, 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 I
the critical elements of the design that we're trashing the mirror louvers, the louvers aren't the louvers, it's something else. So, long before I, anyway, the idea was to take the, 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 the sun, um, the rec sun light. We, we needed to have very deep buildings in order to, 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 to get the, the amount of space we wanted without getting to either high rise tower or, or many courtyards because the original scheme was about 4 million square feet in south of Chattanooga. We built enough towers that would have shaded the whole city. Or, or hundreds of courtyards, like small courtyards. So big courtyards, very large floors. And by bouncing the light with mirrors, we could get, get pretty much uh, total daylight. So I could see this idea of, of allowing the sun to drift in as it's uh, uh, controlling the house in an altitude as long as a very long uh, east to west atrium. And we bounce off a secondary mirror in the space. And I want to keep the heat out and just redirect the sunlight. And bounce it off the back side of the adjacent with the kind of light.
And on the right is, is the one time we're using an off basic pure star. Uh, this is the new museum being built in Beaumont, Texas. Again, no hot fire. We don't want any ever to have any sun. It's hot there. And, and rather than skylight, rather than bottling all the light and turning on heat, we're using the light. In space, off facing. Doesn't mean it overhangs them because we don't get the direct sun. Uh, 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 I'm going to end with just uh, another pair of pictures. I'm going to put in because this is common magic territory. Uh, this is a factory where I'm showing you my extent to even factories. Uh, this is a, a new piece of land plant in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, the Chase Cummins Consolidated, consolidated Diesel. This, this factory has an area of uh, 10 square blocks, the floor area, uh, essentially without a window. Everybody's pretty far from them. There are a few windows. Uh, but the process requires that. The, the, the uh, organization of the factory was to break it up in a series of, of separate businesses. Uh, broken up by little areas like this, which are some team areas. They have each each couple of production lines has its own engineering and lighting. So what we did to 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 reinforce that idea of separate businesses, create to create a series of daily days, and we're bringing the sunlight and bouncing it to the wall. But the fun thing about this was that, that <coughs> here's a case of getting the environmental objective where we actually save money when everyone thought it might cost more. The, these little booths all needed to be about 10 feet high because it's just a little area. But I wanted to have something to bounce the light against to create an identifiable area of building. Otherwise, I look over at all the top of the machines and I don't see any of these. I'm looking at a bunch of cages. I'm seeing a continuous scene in them, but I want to break it up. So I said, well, we can bring those walls all the way up, up through the roof. I want to bring the sunlight bouncing against that wall. And so, being common, they appreciate it. A lot of plants would say, oh, gee, you're making us spend money. But they could see the most thing to do. But then we turned out we had so many byproducts and they paid for so. First of all, acoustics. In a factory, you have to have a lot of exhausted material. You put it on the ceiling above the duct, so it's not fully affected because it becomes a shadow by the duct. You're in a place where all the grease collects, all the oil collects. It's hard to clean. It collects more. oil. We put it on the wall, by perforated metal walls, uh, with all the clean aisles so I can get it. And not the top of the machine is going to have to stop the production line. We clean it, clean it. And then we found also that, um, so let's uh, to how are we clean the window? Why don't we make the windows pivot so on the roof you know, we can clean that? So that's what we designed. It turned out then uh, that they need to have smoke exhaust system. And uh, we saved about half a million dollars in smoke exhaust fans by uh, simply making windows so they open automatically. So anyway, this thing that started just the purely visual device became acoustics, became, became uh, uh, smoke exhaust. And instead of costing them to save money, they're so proud of it, they made the, the skylight form the main entrance. 10 square blocks. And in fact, uh, if you walk through this space, uh, and one observer said, you know, it feels like you're working in a bunch of outdoor sheds. I mean, you're, you're hundreds of feet from the window now. You feel like you're in an outdoor shed. Now, if you have, uh, I've worked in the early college shack, it's you don't know, have a little skylight ready up over the machinery. Uh, first of all, they're, they're making the headache, but you don't have much of the feeling of the outdoors. You have little light shining through a hole in the ceiling. Not the same as having a whole plane, a whole architectural plane that's washed with light. So this is positive use of sunlight for orientation, view, and for light, and, and in this case, the key made it matter because it's so much heat can generate by equipment that people worry about thermal aspects. Well, uh, let me conclude that. So I check this away. I think I've defined the sun lighting's objectives and principles. Describe a few techniques, first generation examples of how they've been employed in our practice. I hope I've demonstrated the powerful effect sun lighting can have on building forms. The designers able to disregard their preconceptions for style and willing to go all the way in exploiting possibilities. Halfway is not enough. To make something that halfway works and you have to then overlap with something else is not enough. That's what I see mostly. But this takes real commitment and coordinated team effort to achieve integrated systems necessary to make designs economically attainable at current energy prices. 
emphasize the quality of aspect of sunlight and time because, in my opinion, use of daylight without delight is not worth the effort. It's hard to get clients excited about modest economic advantages of any conservation. The far more likely to be captivated, they also get beautiful, delightful uh, visual environments. And you saw that. Then they can make an excuse to manage the city by two. Thank you.